Portland, Michigan. Hey, Rhoda, thanks for watching Free Speech. What's on your mind today? Hi, Tom. I have three points. One is unusual. First of all, I think that Speaker Pelosi is brilliant, and I think she should have everyone's support. I agree. Everyone's support. She knows what she's doing. She's had the experience. She knows this man very well, and yep. she knows how to deal with him. Totally agree. And, yeah, and the second thing is, it might, it might offend you, but don't let it. I think we really and truly need to let the bloody Republicans win the presidency and just focus on getting senators in there because they leave a mess, a financial mess, every single time. It's a pattern that must be changed. They elect someone, they spend up all the money, they create all sorts of financial disasters, which he has already done, trillion and whatever mm -hmm. debt that's there, and then the Democrats come in and clean it all up, and then they take the blame for it also, because they've got to clean this mess up. Yeah. And then once the mess is cleaned up and there's some money there, left over. Well, we had Bush give it away one year, $600 extra to everyone. And then we had uh, Obama cleaned up the banks and, and got people together, even though many people for had their houses foreclosed and never saw a penny of their yeah. money. Yeah. The banks and the rich people did. And now we have this one who is ready to get into the Medicare, even to take money from that, ready to take money from the veterans who think that they love him. We have to stop that pattern. Let him win. Let yeah. him win and just try to focus on getting um, senators in there. Well, I think we can do both, Rhoda. The, the uh, fact of the matter is that in the last election for the Senate, because uh, one-third of the Senate is up for re-election every two years because they're six-year terms and they stagger them that way. Um, in the last election, the majority of the people running, and I think it was 17 or 18, something like that, were Democrats. Yeah. And so, you know, you're always going to have some people lose elections. Um, this time around, although frankly the Democrats did quite well in the Senate, yeah. given given what was what they were up against, this time around, if I'm remembering correctly, there are 20 Republicans up for re-election in the Senate, mm -hmm. or thereabouts, and yeah. and a number of those are seats that I think that we can pick off. Now, the the wild card, of course, is going to be hundreds of millions of dollars from the Koch network, from Shelley Adelson, from the Mercers, from the from the billionaire class in the United States, and yeah, and. The usual. Yes, as usual. And and this is brought to you courtesy of the U.S. Supreme Court's decision in, yes. uh, you know, Buckley in 76 and Citizens United in 2010. And, and all the Supreme Court justices who, of course, he, he had to pick for certain reasons. Yes, amen. All there. So, so uh, you know, I, I think we can do both. And, and if, But if what you're suggesting is that we need to have a Republican in the White House when the next big economic crash comes yes. and therefore let, let it go, I'm thinking that that next big economic crash may happen in the next 12 months. Well, we'll see. Hmm. I, well, I, you know, I'm, I may be wrong, but you know, it's it, there are so many indicators uh, that are going yeah. the wrong direction. On the other hand, you know, the 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 central banks are our central bank, the European central bank, the Chinese central bank, the Japanese central bank. All these central banks are just pouring money, but in the form of loose credit into the economies to keep them supported, um, which over the short term, I mean, you know, it's like, how many years can you do this? Japan's been doing it for exactly. 23 years. Um, exactly. You know, can we do it? We've been doing it for 10 years. Can we do it for 23 years? I don't know. But at some point when the crash comes, it'll be far worse as a consequence of that. And so, that's what worries me. Then they'll have to not lie. They'll have to do something. Right. right. And you don't want a Democrat in the in the White House when the crash happens. I get it. I, I totally get it because we saw what happened, um, you know, back in, in, in 1929. There are lessons in history, Rhoda. You're absolutely right. Thank you for the call.